بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وبه نستعين على أمور الدنيا والدين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and a very good day first of all شكر الحمد لله I am very grateful to be one of the presenter in this meaningful event the fifth Bandung Annual International Conference I am representing Brunei Darussalam from Halal and Taiban Research Center, University Islam, Sultan Sharif Ali. Inshallah, we'll be presenting a topic on prospect of halal green tourism in Brunei Darussalam. Okay, recent years have seen an increased interest of, among um, academics worldwide in halal and green tourism concept, particularly concerning sustainability. There are now many chances of tourism stakeholders to improve their services for future development due to the strong tourist interest in both halal tourism and green tourism. And by looking at our country, Brunei Darussalam, about 80% of Brunei Darussalam is covered in primary tropical forests and above 50% of the country's total land area is devoted to permanent forests and forest reserve. And Brunei boosts numerous green tourist attraction despite being a small nation. Right, this study explores the idea of halal green tourism from the various theoretical and empirical literature to gain a complete understanding of the applications of concepts and numerous significant issues in halal green tourism. There are four main points of my presentation today. So from introduction to literature review, methodology, findings and conclusions. For the introduction, tourism has generally perceived as an economic vehicle for both developing and developed countries and it is frequently regarded as one of the fastest growing industries. One of the travel services that has been heavily marketed by the majority of Muslim nations is halal tourism. With an estimated 1.8 billion Muslim in the world spread across more than 50 nations, halal tourism has large business potential and will only grow as Muslim travelers increase globally. And this Muslim travel market is still expanding quickly and will continue until it reaches US 300 billion in 2026 in a global Muslim travel index. On the concept of halal tourism, world travel market explains that halal tourism as a type of religious tourism that is confirmed with Islamic teachings regarding behaviorism, dress, conduct, and diet. So halal tourism actually aims to provide greater convenience for Muslim tourists to enable them carry out their worship while traveling, as well as to avoid Allah's prohibitions. Another point is halal tourism is to provide safe and healthy travel services as well as introduce Islamic teachings as a universal value as well as activities that do not conflict with Islamic values. So halal tourism can simply be interpreted as tourism that is allowed according to the Islamic teachings and Islamic values to be done by the Muslim. Okay, um, the diagram here is showing the characteristic of halal tourism where these are considered as basic needs that are prioritized and met the concept of halal tourists which are closely related to their worship activities. So there are at least six basic needs that Muslims need in their daily lives. It includes the need of purification facilities with water, facilities for salat, halal food, and tourism activities that do not conflict with Islamic values, such as no element of immorality or, or evil. Um, it also includes Ramadan services and recreational facilities or services with privacy. Okay, now regarding the green tourism, it is defined as environmentally friendly tourism activities with various focuses and meanings. So these terms are used for two purposes. First, to tell customers that the holiday destination that they are going to be um, exotic, beautiful, and unspoiled. Second, the green tourism claims can be used to signal that tourism operation taking place in the area do not harm the environment. Uh, so in the broad terms, green tourism is about being an environmentally friendly tourist or providing environmentally friendly tourist services. In addition, environmentalists see green tourism as an important interval for future generations. As a result, Responsible green tourism strategies and plans include those that reduce harmful effects of traditional tourism on the environment, while also enhancing local people cultural integrity for tourism industry. Therefore, 
in addition to assessing environmental, social, and cultural factors, promoting recycle, um, waste consumption, energy efficiency, and water conservation is an essential component of green tourism and the creations of economic opportunities for local communities. Now, moving on to the topic of Brunei Darussalam. Brunei Darussalam is one of the world's wealthiest countries due to its oil and gas industry. However, it is urgently necessary to restructure its economy away from its unsustainable oil and gas industry and towards a more market-driven, globally competitive and diversified economy. Given that the government is now considering tourism development as a way to achieve economic development, the development of tourism in Brunei will be significantly impacted by the growing demand and arises as a result of the anticipated increase in demand for travel uh, to new halal and green destination. All right, to fill in the gaps of own knowledge, um, of course, studying Brunei tourism from any perspective is consequently required. The majority of the information gathered in this study is drawn on already available great literature resources, such as uh, government papers, media stories, and related authority websites, particularly for Brunei specific information, as well as data from what literature on the subject such as relevant documents, journals, and hearings was acquired and uh, reviewed. So this study also looks into the tourism SWOT analysis uh, in Brunei Darussalam, specifically the prospect for Brunei Darussalam. All right. Um, from this study, finding shows that Brunei Darussalam can boost several halal green tourist attraction and could promote the religious, moral, and cultural values of the country. Brunei Darussalam also could maximize the economic utilizations of national resources, as well as maintaining a clean and healthy environment. Um, Brunei also has enormous uh, potential in halal green tourism and can contribute significantly to the country's diverse economy GDP. Uh, according to Master Cr Mastercard Crescent Rating Global Muslim Travel Index, Brunei scored 100 in the service category such as uh, airport and places for prayer, and 100 uh, in the environment category, trust and security. In addition, Brunei Darussalam also scored 72 in the category of access, and 67 in the environmental climate category, and 55 in communication um, ability. Brunei Darussalam also, uh, Brunei Darussalam Kampung Air was recently awarded uh, the ASEAN Sustainable Tourism Award in the Urban Asian Sustainable Tourism category, while Bangar Town in the Tamburong District, on the other hand, has received the ASEAN Clean City Award. Meanwhile, the commercial sector has proved its dedication to sustainable tourism with the Redisan Hotel and Ulu Ulu Resort receiving um, the ASEAN Green Hotel Award for their efforts in, uh, gen in energy conservation, the usage of green products and community involvement. Right. Um, well, from the SWOT analysis, Brunei Darussalam has the strength of halal green tourism uh, due to political and economic stability, rich culture and heritage, natural resources and um, uh, pristine rainforest, safe and secure, strategic location, as well as halal certified food products and halal certified restaurants. When it comes to the opportunities, Brunei has green tourism business development, new nature products, Islamic and heritage products improvement of infrastructure, preservations and uh, perpetuations of uh, culture, increased stakeholder involvement, collaboration with neighboring countries. And, but however, this analysis also identified some weaknesses and threats such as inadequate public and private infrastructure, lack of new experience, lack of professional guides, products and services standards, limited awareness and access to new experience, lack of pre and post arrival information. Um, and also uh, climate and natural disaster, uh, disruptive world events, loss of identify, uh, identity differentiation, conflicts of interest among stakeholders, uh, and also overuse exploitations of existing resources. As a result, weaknesses and threats should be re-evaluated and re-examined, while strengths and opportunities for progress should be highlighted. By looking at this diagram, it actually summarized that the concept of halal green tourism that we concluded is by combining both concept of halal and green tourism. 
Therefore, halal gun tourism in our suggestion means any travel or tourist activity that are halal, safe, with no immorality, as well as environmentally friendly, that could bring not just economic impact, but also socio, cultural, and environmental sustainability. All right, for the conclusion, based on the findings of this research, Brunei has, an, has the ideal uh, ratio of environmentally friendly and halal friendly services. Because of this, the relevant authorities must actively work to update their tourist policy. These findings also undoubtedly beneficial to tourism policy makers, policy implementers, tourism educators, and academics. Most importantly, uh, the findings could be used as a guideline for future tourism planning, development, and decision-making procedures by governmental entities involved in the business. Uh, so in the long run, it is envisaged that this would contribute to the eventual attainment of national goals in terms of diversifying the country's economy away from oil and gas. All right. Uh, that's all for my presentations, and thank you for your kind attention. Jazakumullahu khairul jazakum.